Something extraordinary is happening in the American electric vehicle market, and it's coming from a name most people never expected. For the first time ever, Maxwell Chikambutso's self-powered electric vehicle has entered the United States on a bank lease program, and the official price has just been revealed. This isn't just another EV story. This is the kind of technological disruption that makes car buyers, investors, and even automakers stop and stare. Because this car doesn't just run on batteries, it reportedly powers itself. No charging stations. No plugging into the wall. No dependence on the grid. And now, it's available through an American financial institution on a lease plan, something that was once considered impossible for this kind of innovation. The announcement broke quietly, but the ripples have been enormous. According to reports emerging from tech and automotive insiders, a select group of banks in the U.S. have approved pilot leasing programs for Maxwell's self-powered EVs, marking a first for an African-developed technology entering the Western market under such terms. And then came the moment everyone had been waiting for, the price reveal. The leasing price, according to early documents, is set to start from around $699 per month, depending on the region and insurance requirements. That number caught everyone off guard. For context, that's cheaper than some Tesla Model Y lease plans in certain US states. Yet this isn't a Tesla. This is something entirely different. A car that doesn't consume fuel, doesn't rely on public charging stations, and, as Maxwell himself once said, can run indefinitely as long as the system remains operational. The very concept seemed like science fiction, but now it's being offered through a US financial structure, something that gives the story real credibility. For years, the biggest question surrounding Maxwell Chikambutso's work was not about his innovation but about how it could be commercialized. He created technologies that promised freedom from the grid, independence from fossil fuels, and liberation from centralized energy monopolies. But experts wondered, how do you bring such a radical system into markets dominated by giants like Tesla, Ford, and General Motors? It turns out the answer might be, through leasing. By leasing instead of selling outright, banks and companies can manage risk, control technology access, and gather long-term data about performance and consumer trust. In other words, this is the safest path for a revolutionary idea to enter an ultra-competitive environment like the United States. The lease model also allows customers to experience the car without taking on the full financial burden. And perhaps that's exactly what Maxwell's partners wanted, to let Americans test, experience, and witness what a self-powered EV really means. One of the first pilot programs is reportedly taking place in California, where environmentally conscious consumers are always eager to try the latest clean tech. Early users claim the driving experience is smooth, silent, and endlessly surprising. The onboard system reportedly recharges itself using an integrated MCD, the same micro self-energy device that has become Maxwell's signature invention. This internal unit allegedly captures ambient energy and converts it into continuous electrical power. It's not a battery pack, nor is it solar-based. It's something entirely unique, a closed-loop power generation system. Though the exact inner workings remain a closely guarded secret, Maxwell and his engineering teams have long hinted at the use of advanced magnetic resonance and radio frequency conversion principles. If true, that would make this car not just self-powered, but self-sustaining. And that's where the story gets wild. Because if a car can power itself, the economics of the entire automotive industry could change overnight. No gas stations. No charging networks. No time wasted waiting to refuel. Just endless motion. And now that this idea has moved from African innovation to an American lease program, the implications have become global. Industry analysts are already debating what this means for the future. Could US banks be taking a quiet position in what might become the next trillion dollar tech revolution? Could this be the start of a new kind of clean energy infrastructure where consumers lease energy independence itself? The reactions online have been intense. Some users are calling it the Tesla killer, while others are more skeptical, calling for hard proof. Automotive journalists have been cautious, saying that while the lease is real, the technology still needs transparent verification. But what no one can deny is that something has shifted. 
Maxwell's name, once whispered in African innovation circles, is now appearing in U.S. bank databases, corporate leasing documents, and electric car discussion forums. It's no longer just an idea. It's paperwork. It's real transactions. It's money moving. And that makes it very real in the eyes of industry watchers. The reported lease structure suggests that a handful of U.S. banks are treating the MSED-powered vehicles as experimental sustainable assets. In simple terms, they're betting that this is the next step beyond EVs. And in doing so, they've given Maxwell Chikambutso's creation a legitimate entry point into the American mainstream. But here's where the story starts to bend, because not everything about this deal is as clear as it seems. In the second half of this narrative, we dive into the whispers, the speculation, and the rumors surrounding this bold move. Some say the entire program might be part of a controlled pilot under NDA agreements with private investors. Others believe the banks involved are not traditional lenders at all, but specialized energy financing groups testing disruptive tech. And then there are those who claim that this whole lease program might not even be public yet, that what's been seen are early documents or prototypes of what's to come. The truth might sit somewhere in between. Because when it comes to Maxwell's inventions, there's always a gray zone between official and extraordinary. Maybe the leases are real, but the cars are still in prototype phase. Maybe the banks are participating quietly to test public reactions. Or maybe, just maybe, the story has been amplified by excited insiders eager to see Maxwell's dream recognized in the West. Even the price reveal has multiple interpretations. While $699 per month is being quoted in several reports, others suggest the actual figure could vary dramatically based on how the MSED unit is classified, as a power generator or as part of the vehicle. If classified as a generator, federal energy regulations could kick in, which might alter the entire financial structure. And that's why some sources believe the pricing announcement might not have come directly from Maxwell's team, but rather from partners or distributors. In other words, it may be a test balloon, a way to gauge how the market reacts before anything is formally confirmed. But even if that's the case, it shows something profound, the world is ready to believe in the possibility of a self-powered car. That belief alone is revolutionary. And it's not just ordinary people who are talking. Inside major automaker boardrooms, discussions about closed-loop vehicle energy are reportedly taking place. Some insiders even claim that a few American automakers have sent quiet inquiry teams to Africa to study the original MSED system. No one admits it publicly, of course, but the whispers are too consistent to ignore. Could it be that American banks have already verified the technology under confidentiality, but are rolling it out slowly to prevent market panic? Or could it be that Maxwell's team is using the bank lease angle as a strategic media play to attract larger institutional partners? Both possibilities exist. And that's where this story turns from engineering into intrigue. Because Maxwell's journey has always been shrouded in mystery, from the early days of his self-powered home systems to his silent breakthroughs in wireless energy transmission. He's been called a visionary, a disruptor, even a modern-day Nikola Tesla. But with great innovation always comes great skepticism. Many scientists have questioned how a device could generate continuous energy without an external source. They ask for peer-reviewed data, patents, or open demonstrations. And while Maxwell's team has provided evidence to investors and select engineers, public verification remains rare. That gap between knowledge and secrecy fuels both belief and doubt. So when a story like this, about a U.S. bank lease, hits the headlines, people split into two camps. One side says it's proof that Maxwell's technology has finally crossed the threshold of legitimacy. The other side says it's a clever piece of PR designed to build anticipation. The truth could lie anywhere on that spectrum. There are even rumors that the U.S. Department of Energy has quietly reviewed the MSED system under a confidential technology pilot framework. Nothing official, of course, but insiders claim that regulatory agencies have been watching Seth Technologies' progress closely for years. That alone adds fuel to the mystery. If an American institution has indeed verified the MSED system, that would explain how banks felt confident enough to offer lease programs. But if not, then the question becomes, 
Who's backing these deals? Some suggest private venture funds connected to green energy portfolios. Others whisper about African development partnerships aiming to globalize self-powered systems. Either way, money is moving, and that means belief is moving too. The deeper you look, the more the story starts to resemble a slow-motion revolution. A revolution that might already be underway but disguised as a pilot program. Maybe the cars are already being tested quietly in selected U.S. states. Maybe bank executives have seen what the public hasn't. Maybe the official confirmation will only come once the technology's reliability is beyond question. Or maybe it's all still being negotiated with public leaks coming from insiders who just couldn't hold back their excitement. There's also talk of a partnership between Maxwell's team and a California-based green energy firm, which could explain how the logistics of American leasing are even possible. Because bringing an African-developed self-powered EV into the U.S. market isn't a small thing. It requires regulatory clearance, insurance adaptation, and compliance with Department of Transportation standards. That's not easy, unless powerful players are involved behind the scenes. And maybe that's what's happening here. Maybe the banks aren't doing this alone. Maybe they're part of a larger experimental collaboration between African innovators and U.S. green finance groups. But again, these are just possibilities. For now, all that's confirmed is that the rumor has taken on a life of its own, and that itself means something big is brewing. The internet has already begun calling it the silent revolution, because it's happening with minimal publicity yet maximum curiosity. Each new document leak, each insider comment, each anonymous claim adds another layer to the mystery. And Maxwell's silence only deepens it. He hasn't issued any public statement confirming or denying the bank lease reports. That silence is powerful. It leaves room for interpretation, and speculation fills the void. Some say he's bound by confidentiality clauses. Others say he's waiting for the right moment to reveal everything in a massive global announcement. Or maybe he's simply letting the technology speak for itself, allowing the results to leak organically. Whatever the case, the conversation has already begun, and it's global. From Silicon Valley forums to African innovation networks, people are asking, is this real? Could a self-powered EV truly be available through a U.S. bank? Could the age of energy independence finally be here? It's a question that both excites and terrifies the establishment. Because if it's real, the consequences are enormous. Oil markets would shudder. Utility companies would rethink their futures. EV charging networks would lose relevance overnight. And the idea of energy as a service would become the new norm. That's why some analysts believe the rollout is being kept deliberately small, to test public perception and manage global impact. A quiet revolution launched through leases instead of headlines. But there's also the possibility that all of this remains in testing, that what people are seeing are early-stage corporate agreements mistaken for consumer programs. It wouldn't be the first time that innovative prototypes sparked public rumors before official confirmation. Maybe the car shown in those leaked photos isn't a final product at all, but a pre-production unit used for demonstration purposes. Maybe the $699 figure was only part of an internal study and not a final price. These are the questions no one outside the circle can answer yet. And that's exactly what keeps this story alive. The tension between belief and evidence. Because in every great technological revolution, there's a moment of disbelief. A moment when people say, it can't be real. And then suddenly it is. Maxwell's self-powered EV could be standing on that very edge right now. Maybe we're witnessing the birth of something that will redefine transportation forever. Or maybe we're witnessing the greatest marketing buildup in clean energy history. Either way, it's fascinating. Because whether it's already here or still on the horizon, one thing is certain, the world is paying attention. The combination of African innovation, American finance, and self-powered technology is something no one saw coming. And if even half of these reports are true, the automotive world will never be the same again. Maxwell Chikambutso's name is once again in headlines, and with every new whisper, the legend grows louder. Maybe his EVs are already silently gliding through American streets, unseen but unstoppable. Or maybe they're still inside a secure facility, being tested before the world's biggest reveal. 
time will tell. But until that day comes, one question will echo in every corner of the energy world. Is the self-powered car finally here? And if it is, are we ready for what comes next?